<coughs> Hi everyone. I wanted to record this video to let all of you guys know and to share with you guys um, that the internet could be a blessing and and a kind of like a curse at the same time because um you know like you might you know people might be able to you know to have access to it while other people might not um and right now I think it's a problem because a lot of you who have money to To afford unlimited data and all that stuff, or even having inter an internet access without a Wi Fi connection, can make all the difference in the world, right? So, at the moment, um, a lot of you in the world. Um, you guys are <coughs> oh, I mean, you guys have became you guys have become or became Anyway, you guys have become so used to having, <coughs> you guys are so used to having the internet, like unlimited data, that you guys are not thinking about people who are less fortunate. <clears throat> okay and that is an issue <clears throat> that is an issue on a lot of degrees on a lot of levels it's super um, Uh, I believe like discriminating towards people who are less fortunate and like you guys don't even care if other people have unlimited data or not some of you are just happy that you have it and um but like if your unlimited data gets cut off, then you understand how poor people are living. Less fortunate people, okay? <coughs> and if you guys haven't realized, that is a major problem. Okay, people? That is one major freaking problem. Okay, so I believe, like I wrote down right here, 
Um, let me see. On my Facebook page, I wrote. Um, all of this content right here, and this is regarding. Oh, it's in the edit mode. Okay, so uh, and this is regarding web one point zero, web two point zero, web three point zero and eventually web 4 and futuristic updates right now we are at the stage of the web 3.0 okay and I shared <coughs> I shared a link here of the, the definition of web 3 which is on the Wikipedia the free encyclopedia and according to this it shares a little bit of the background like the history okay it says web 1.0 and web 2.0 refer to eras in the history of the World Wide Web as it evolved through various technologies and formats web 1.0 refers roughly to the per period from 1989 to 2004 where most sites consisted of static pages and the vast majority of users were consumers not producers of content Web 2.0 is based around the idea of the web as platform and centers on user created content uploaded to forums, social media, and networking services, blogs, and wikis, among other services. Web 2.0 is generally considered to have begun around 2004 and continues to the current day okay so we still have yet we we have yet to see web 3 Okay. So <clears throat> let me read this to you guys. Well, I actually <clears throat> <clears throat> I actually have a link here of this album that I created. If you guys want to check it out <clears throat> on your own personal time. Your own personal times, whatever, your own personal schedules or whatever. Anyways, I wrote down futuristic World Wide Web updates. A new version of the World Wide Web is about to be released or has already been released, and we all know that Google Maps Live is not available at the moment. So this is a great example of what in of invent or don't invent is all about perfecting our inventions and thinking of newer concepts and ideas. Web 3 definition, we just looked into that, you know, the Wikipedia, and there's a lot more information. I encourage you guys to also go and check that out as well, okay? So that's for Web 3, you know. Um, web 4 and futuristic possible updates. Another thing that I didn't even get into was the idea and concept of Google Maps available to everyone in live form format. Please also take into consideration that Web3 will not offer that as at, at the moment. Um, so most likely it will be until version Web4 is released to the public. And notice I said public. You know, I'm not referring to the military. I'm referring to the public. Something to take 
into consideration something to uh, note down mentally in your brains okay so for web 4 I wrote down Google Maps Live and this could be a different uh, web updates you know it could be web 5 web 6 web 7 web 8 web 9 web 10 and so on and so forth okay I wrote down Google Maps Live AI dating digital IDs cashless 100% online payments AI policing from speeding tickets to sentencing people to life in prison while evaluating everything 24 7 and documenting all data to each and every individual's digital ID non-lethal weapons enforced through AI technology including firearms and a limited voltage on electrical weaponry self-driving vehicles older vehicles eliminated eliminated from the equation for safety re reasons legally AI driven free global internet for every user everyone uninterrupted especially while traveling commuting using Google Maps and anything else that will not prevent someone from getting up from bed each and every morning to stay active free unlimited data especially for kids students and for any educational content that's on the web this will fall under the category of education at the time being in the year 2023 there's a ton of discrimination and only the rich are able to have unlimited data that plus Starlink is only made available at the moment only if users pay for the state-of-the-art technology free electricity which re which pertains as it keeps the internet and other internet connected devices powered unlimited external storage space stored on the cloud servers without copyright infringements as credit credits will be provided as each and every user is tagged and monitored with GPS tracking 24-7 etc uh, and then our donuts comment below any and all of your personal ideas and con and thoughts of what futuristic implementation should be added or not perfecting each and every invention so there you guys have it <coughs> I wrote that down okay <coughs> all of that okay um so there's still we we can see that there's still a ton of room for improvement and a lot of people are not even teaching their their children this stuff okay that's the sad thing about it like what invent or don't invent is all about is is uh, education you know and not just in education and raising people the, the right way right now there's especially in the past a lot of people were manipulating their children they were teaching them things that were false like Santa Claus um, it could be you know in the United States of America there's the freedom of religion but even that, some religions, some ideas, some concepts are just, um, you know, discriminating, you know, and some of some of these laws and rules that are against the law. Or the, some of these rules 
some of these um, yeah rules and regulations that are in the Bible or any religion for that matter are contradictory to the laws of the United States of America uh, some of them okay um, specifically like Christianity um, and people um, marrying the same sex, the same gender. <clears throat> I guess from what I heard, California has legalized that in the state of California. Um, so that is a prime example because although it's illegal in your Bible, it's illegal in your Bible, um, it's not, illegal in the state and possibly other states within the state of California I mean within the state within the within the states of the United States of America um, so you guys would have to technically understand your own laws or the laws of other states and possibly the laws of other countries to understand what I'm talking about and referring to okay but it's simple you know you guys are growing up people are telling you you could do this or you can't do that you could do this but you can't do that you can't do that but you could do this and this and that and this and that right um, but they're doing it for your own good right they're doing it just out of you know their minds what they've been they're just trying to teach people what they've been taught that's all people are doing whether they are in the right or in the wrong from the per from the perception of the world right they could be right or wrong but in their their own minds they think that they are in the right 100% of the time um so <clears throat> so that's why all of this stuff is super important because um, um, you know I, I just don't I, I don't really understand like there's there's just a lot of um, information on the web right now and um, you know like right now it's just only like people who have the money can have this stuff um, so it's, we, we see that it's making a positive impact but it's also having a negative uh, impact as well negative one as well okay and that's because you know obviously people who are able to afford you know we're dealing with money you know and people who don't have the money obviously don't have the resources to to tap into this treasure chest per se while there is some 
you know, help and aid and support from the educational system and, you know, uh, probably like government assistance. Um, just like, you know, there is, just like there's, um, housing assistance and people who are less fortunate and they get, um, help and other benefits, you know, with, like with the government and stuff like that, um, because after all, you know, we're not, we're not fucking murderers. We're not doing life in fucking prison for you guys to be treating us like shit. You know, people in prison, you know, they might not qualify to have the internet or, or like computers and stuff like that. But people in, um, like in the free world, people who have never committed a crime, well, even if they have committed a crime, but they're not, they're no longer a threat, then they qualify to receive unlimited data and no internet in interruptions, especially when we're not connected to Wi-Fi. I don't even I don't even like Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is so stupid. It's so annoying. But it is what it is at the moment. And I don't know who's coming up with all these rules and stuff like that. But it is what it is, you know. But I, I am trying to, you know, to, to point humanity in the right direction and also to paint a perfect picture. Not, not a negative one, but a beautiful one. Okay, um, obviously... It is what it is right now, but the benefits of of um, of the benefits of like the benefits of the like providing everyone with with information and the internet is oh yeah is because it's educational right like even if someone is not a student but they want to learn something educational or they're at home and they want to fix something but they don't have any internet well that's when all of this that I'm talking about will, will be beneficial because instead of staying home not doing anything there will people will be able to stay active and do something you know like going outside and commuting you know like just traveling the world people don't have maps these days Maps are not even sold anywhere. I, I can go to any store, any liquor store, any gas station. They do not sell fucking maps. So you people can't lie to me. Like back in the day, people would, you know, stores would sell maps. Uh, stores would sell maps. But not any longer, right? So, so right now, people go out of their homes 
and they get interrupted because they're no longer able to to rely on their phones um, to get around people get lost they're walking around and now they don't know where they are or where to go they don't even know how to get from point A to point B like in a vehicle because we are relying on the internet you know on Google Maps GPS and we go out of our homes and we get lost because and we don't know where to go because um, we're all relying on on the internet like for me for instance I used to have a window cleaning company um, that I started up you know friends and family members helped me out uh, as much as possible okay um, and and um, <clears throat> oh yeah I would go to jobs uh, or to g provide free estimates to to random people that wanted window cleaning and I would I, you know I remember like going to Palm Springs and every time I went to like the ocean somewhere you know like places where I don't normally go to and you know, if it wasn't for Google Maps, I wouldn't even know how to get there unless I sat I sat down and wrote down the list form every single freeway I needed to go on or turn into every single street and if I had to make a left turn or a right turn or continue straight or whatever the case may, might be you know but the, the internet there is no talking there is no communicating right like you just type in the address and put it it tells you where to go like you know if you guys have the voice activated then the voice the Google voice will tell you in 300 feet make a right in 300 feet you're going to be making a left or whatever the case may be right um, but other than that you guys can mute that and you guys could just follow the map there is no you know wasteful communication and it's just right now it's so normal to do that like oh what's your address oh, okay okay I got your address I know I know exactly how to get there you don't have to tell me oh it's over here by 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 the um, by the supermarkets um, you know this plaza over here this plaza you know that everyone goes to and and um, all the burgers there's a burger joint right there and everything there is so good and you know it's so fucking annoying like just cut the shit and let's get straight to business and that's exactly what I am talking about See, but in today's time and age, people have been so, uh, people have, like, gotten so accustomed, accustomed to, to this, that people just tend to forget, you know, 
That's how people used to communicate back in the day. Without all this internet stuff. And without smartphones. People used to communicate and run their mouths. Like engines. This story, that story, this story, that story, this story, that story. Oh, and, oh, and, oh, do you have your map out? Yeah. Take out your map and refer to this section over here. Wait, wait, I can't. I hold on, let me grab my glasses, my reading glasses. Oh wait, I can't find my glasses. They're somewhere around here. Oh wait, I found them. Oh wait, this is the wrong map. Let me let me pull up. Let me wait. Which which map are we looking at again? I have I have a hundred maps here. Which map is it again? And that, that was just to go from one location to another. So, I... I thank God that we have AI technology helping us and, and assisting us because after a while people once they make it once they earn a lot of money they don't have to kiss ass to any of you anymore they don't have to dedicate their lives serving any of you any longer if they feel that way there's nothing preventing them from stopping what they were once doing even if it was making a positive impact in this life and they can they can live their lives they can continue living their lives doing other things all right now the beautiful thing about AI technology is that it's the supercomputer and it's working on every single invention in the whole fucking world at the same fucking time Without taking any breaks, without taking any vacations, without getting distracted, the whole nine yards, and and is doing this all simultaneously, all at the same time, all throughout the world. So that's a power. That's how powerful. AI technology is and it's and it's self learning now so be careful people because um, 
we're about to step into a whole different like reality like dimension and um you know engineers and scientists and programmers web developers and all that stuff they're working especially NASA because because it involves not only jobs and infrastructure here on planet earth <coughs> it also includes um, planet earth's moon and planet mars two moons as including um, mars and other possibly other moons in other uh, planets within our solar system where we can go in and mine uh, precious elements um, or or even gases so elements gases um, or metals like anything or even liquids <coughs> anything that will to anything that will repel us forward in this um, ex exploration of of our universe you know outside of this planet and there, there's an unlimited amount of resources out there in the world. We are only limiting ourselves. We can say that is true. Because we can see it from history. How we are limiting ourselves. Okay? Like just look for instance at the ev evolution of vehicles, right? From these old, you know, vehicles to these newer vehicles. Okay. Yes. Yes. Hey. Yes. Yes, give me give me a minute. <coughs> Be careful not to get burnt. Here, let me see. That's in the highest setting. So we can see from studying history that we humans limited ourselves. We restricted ourselves. And this this might have been because some people, some even some companies, they might have been a hundred percent dedicated. Or they were just, you know, and it's okay. I'm not talking crap about any business. You guys can do whatever you guys want. You guys can, you know, do as many updates as you guys want. There's no, you know, deadlines. There's no rush. Everything's just research and, de and development. But I believe some companies could have easily been just screwing around having fun 
not really caring, not being 100% serious about their job and stuff like that. And, and even smart, educated people, it, it was really up to them if they wanted to put an extra step of an extra step of um, you know like of themselves you know putting that extra putting that extra effort to get things done it was really up to them Thank you. See. Oh. oh, thank you. That's right. It was really up to them if they wanted to do that or not. Right? So, you know, and how we're talking about AI technology and the self learning. And it's actually creating um, inventions, it's creating its own logic, it's even programming the web. It's even coding. Real code, it's coding the web. So, you guys can actually um, watch AI uh, coding the web. So, you know, a lot of you you might think how can any of this stuff that Francisco is talking about be real or how how would it ever be made a reality even even like Google Maps live and a bunch of other things it might be impossible to us, but not to AI technology. Okay? <coughs> so, so there's a lot <clears throat> for us to evaluate here there's a lot for us to be grateful for okay like I said I'm not trying to be harsh towards anyone because I understand that people are doing their best out there and things happen accidents happen you know you know I think we are putting too much pressure on people and companies but what happens if these people realize like hey the rest of the world they don't even care about us they're over there doing their own thing in this big you know world of ours Okay. So in this world, people are so busy doing their own thing, and they don't they don't really pay attention if one of your family members pass away passes away. They don't they don't really pay attention if you get injured or, or sick or or whatever the case may be. You know, like if your your health is failing or if you're aging and you're about to die of natural um, causes or not so so that's why personally I don't I don't um, you know pressure anyone or demand anyone to get something done you know to to 
come out with a new version, you know, new updates. <clears throat> you know, to to me, that's um, it is what it is, and and if there's people out there like um, you know, like bosses, if you guys have bosses or if you guys have people. You know, threatening any of you for a new update or whatever the case may be. Um, I think that's messed up because obviously, for obvious reasons, you know. Um, you know, but I, I have actually. Um, like watched movies before where people have done this so these people they they want something done like right now and if they don't have whatever it is that they're requesting if they don't have whatever it is that they're talking about they want to hurt people Okay, and, and they won't hesitate to do it, and they don't hesitate to do it, even, even if, even if it carries life in prison. Some some people, like in the movies, they don't care. They just whatever it is that they want, they want it right now, and they're demanding for it. And if you any of you think it's a joke, that's when they start making examples out of you people. Right until everyone's on the same on the same level on the same page, and then they realize, you know what, the, this person or this business or this corporation or whatever the case may be, you know, they're just not fucking around, and we need to, um, you know, we we have to come through we have to we have to provide no we have to what's the word um We we have to um, um not provide, but we have to um Damn, I don't know the word. It's just not coming to me right now. Hmm. We have to... Like, basically come through. Or, I, or, or else... Our asses are fried. Type of thing. And... That's that's not that's not that's not cool at all at all because you know I was just thinking about this the other day parents when they are raising their children or or when people are together in a group and something, some, someone does something that either irritates other people or they say something that irritates other people. That's when the discipline that we each have received 
when we were raised comes into effect. Our, even our parents, like our parents, they can say, hey, don't speak like that. Or they might say, um, you know, close your mouth when you chew, when you're eating. And other people might say that too. They might say it because maybe they're jealous because you're eating and they're not. That's a possibility. Or maybe, you know, it reminds them of sex or something. So they're like, please, don't, don't chew with your mouth open. Maybe it reminds them of sex. Who knows? But to some people, it's very irritating. And, you know, if, if, if someone, like, if people don't make a correction, if you don't correct yourself and listen to what other people are telling you, some of these people can become so irritated and so agitated. Just like the people in the movies, like I was describing right now. Where they, they just want to discipline someone. You know? So, like, I'm trying to stay focused here. This is, this is a lot of information, okay? So, just bear with me as much as possible, people. So, like, um... So, I don't believe in that, in other words. I, don't, I believe in patience. I believe, you know, corrections need to be done with patience and love w without traumatizing people, first of all. Okay, so, if someone wants a correction or, re or a revision... Um, it should be done, you know, respectfully and with a, with an understanding perspective, understanding mind that people are not robots, people are not machines, people are not your fucking slaves, okay? Like, if you want something done, then you fucking do it. Or else, give people the fucking respect to do it on their own fucking timing. You know, we are dealing with AI technology. And AI technology is about to do things that no human, or humans were never, never able to comprehend or understand. On every fucking level. <coughs> and it's going to blow all of you out the waters. Right? It's going to just. It's going to. Astonish all of you. It's going to. You know. Um, cause all of you to be. Believers. To become believers. In AI technology. Like, you guys are going to possibly even worship it and and thank it. Because you guys can speak to it and it can speak back. I believe that it's going to eventually teach our children... Uh, or just future generations for that matter okay so that is the importance of all of this stuff you know AI technology um, and and the web like we didn't even have that on the list But let's add it.
So I wrote down AI technology raising children, especially with human humanoid robots. <coughs> okay. So AI technology raising children, especially with humanoid robots. So anyways, going back to um, what I was talking about with you know NASA being in, involved with all this as well um, because you know um, they are building um, they're working on building uh, robots that work together um, for in infrastructure here on planet Earth as well as other moons um, for space exploration and um, for us to to continue uh, learning and to pass that knowledge down to future generations and to keep everyone on the same level um, ultimately because it, it can be very confusing if we have a lot of people uh, talking over each other and there's a bunch of information out there in the world so with, with AI technology is going to keep everyone on the same page so you guys just have to understand that you know and that's part of um, providing everyone with free internet okay uh, we're talking about the web right all this applies Right, because we are talking about the web, and um, <coughs> and this is new technology. Um, relatively new technology. Okay, and um, everyone in the world is connected to this. All right, everyone in the world is connected to this. So, you know, if any of you out there believe that only a s small group of people were in charge and no one else was in charge except them um, they're going to be very very disappointed in the future because there's a lot of people involved and there's people out there who are more hungrier and thirsty than any of you They're more hungry than thirstier. Like, they're starving. They are, um... It's like... You know, offering... Free... Disney World... Tickets to children... They would do anything for Disney World tickets. They, man, they would do anything. So, that's how some of these people are. There's people out there that are more hungrier than some of you. But that's the best way I can describe it or explain it, right? Like, for you people to understand. Like, you people, you're so comfortable. Like, some of you are thinking, well, I've already been there. So, I'm not even interested. Or some of you just might be, you know not interested at all like I'm not even interested 
Um, but you understand what I'm talking about. And that's, that's what I mean. Like, there's people out there who want to perfect everything. They're called perf perfectionists. And they want to impact the world uh, positively. You know, for the greater good of humanity. Not just for themselves. But like I said earlier, like, some of these people could feel like the world is not appreciative of them. Which sucks, because, um, <coughs> I think if you, <coughs> I think if you people are, I think if you people are, are feeling that way, I think you people are not getting paid enough. And you most likely need a break from it all. And I think that's when people just, you know, decide, you know what? Why am I even doing all of this work? If people are not even appreciative. Um, but I, I think people are. They're just distracted. Interacting with, with uh, interacting with the things that were invented, the things that you invented, people are just too distracted with with that to pay any attention to anything to anything else or anyone else. Um, <clears throat> but that's just that's just the way it is. Um, so. So, why is it, going back to the current right now, the year 2023, why is it that everyone in the world doesn't have unlimited data? And why does their internet get interrupted? When they leave their home and they don't have a Wi-Fi, a, a, a strong, reliable Wi-Fi connection. There's something... That we humans are not really uh, focusing on. There's something that we humans um, still need work to to perfect these things. To and, and that's just one, you know, like one invention or a few inventions out of. A vast, you know, a vast number of um, of inventions. I was I was going to say a vast majority of inventions, but you guys know what I'm talking about, right? So, um, so like I like I I said before. Um, There's something, like, I think that AI technology needs to 
provide us humans with a a better system to to govern everyone more professionally and accurately while giving credit to to those who deserve credit who deserve the credit That was basically all I really wanted to to share with all of you, and um, it's a problem. It's a major problem right now. Even <coughs> even Starlink, um, Starlink is is really cool <coughs> because they are providing um, internet. Uh, to to places throughout the world who don't necessarily have um, internet and stuff like that but it comes at a cost right now at the moment at the current moment For obvious reasons, but still, it's still discriminating. It's, a, it's still a discrimination towards people who are not able to afford internet. So the internet should be provided to those who are less fortunate for educational uh, purposes or for, for educational um, reasons so the education system this is when you step in and you support Starlink for the benefit of of um, the greater good the benefit of uh, people who wouldn't otherwise have a means to to become educated okay so Content that is educational should be automatically visible for, for people to interact with. Any websites, any app.
application, any educational videos, <coughs> and people shouldn't even have to pay for any classes they sign up to. It should all be free. Under a governmental support, supporting, support system, support system, okay, because people are more important than money, and education is more important than people. Because we could have a bunch of people, but they could be retarded fucking monkey apes, not doing shit, but picking on their asses all day, and sitting on, on their asses, and eating, and drinking, and taking shits every day, and they can live in their fucking slime and their stinkiness, retarded motherfuckers. Education is primary. That is the number one thing we should all be focusing on. Right? So we see that education is more important than stupid humans. Well, I mean, I believe in extracting willful subjects willing to learn and that have a hunger for for growth and if they have those adaptations that they want to implement within themselves so they're receptible to all of this educational stuff then those subjects should be permitted and allowed and, and so they should be supported and and um, and sponsored the whole nine yards you know they should be taken care of because it, it will ultimately make a lasting impact towards the greater good of humanity while these other stupid motherfuckers are there just doing what I just described thinking everything's fucking funny while they're smelling their own shit all day like fucking animals in cages Or like animals in the wild just um, living to survive you know like living just to eat it's not even survive it's not even about survival anymore in this time and age is people are just living just to eat they're just living to eat and have a good time and that's how a lot of people are, are getting down that's how most people are living today in today's time and age they're just waking up eating bullshitting eating bullshitting eating bullshitting not caring about other people you know but I think that's when AI technology can filter motherfuckers out the realest motherfuckers from the fake motherfuckers people who don't really want to partake or, or do anything you know but but the distinguishing from uh, from the differences of those who are who are talking shit 
as opposed to those who are not. Because I know for a fact that there could be some people out there who love to talk shit about other people. So let's cut to this let's, let's cut to the to the needy greedy and let's cut the shit. Instead of let's give everyone the benefit of the doubt. You know, like there has to be a, a, a starting point. And everyone can be monitored and recorded twenty four seven. And AI technology can do or perform a due diligence on every single user. That's AI technology studying people's lives way back, as far as it can go. All the way back until it starts discovering people that are not even living today. So obviously people who are not living today on this planet, in this world, will be excluded from people who have to interact with the world. Those people who are considered dead, quote unquote, dead, they fall under a whole different category. Um, and we can like classify it as the dece the the deceased. Right, that's how you pronounce it. Deceased. Deceased. A person or people who have died. Okay, so we'll just keep it at that. Um, so AI technology will only focus on people who are here on planet Earth right now. People we have to interact with, whether we like it or not. Um, so, so it can filter everyone accordingly and. By it doing so, it will be able to to provide ranking based on on its evaluation upon the human race. When otherwise, humans would be doing this type of work themselves this type of filtering like oh you're smart you should be a commanding officer oh you're very smart um you know what let me make you a ruler over here so you can govern all these people and to ensure that everything is running smoothly and if anything needs fixing any bridges any roads whatever the case may be we know you can handle this so this is your job now so that's what some people are doing right now right but there's a lot of favoritism as well and we all know that when people are choosing others for favorite for favorite favoritism type of reasons that's where people get killed and and 
when murder arises. Why? Why? This is the the answer why. Because they don't care if other people are smarter. Someone else might qualify. But favoritism favoritism is people choosing this other person who's not actually smarter. But everyone wants to kiss ass to this person. Everyone wants to to choose this person to select this person even though they're someone smarter. So AI technology is not about to do all of that. You know, AI is not going to override for anyone to become something they are not. It's not going to give you a job you can't handle. Just put it that way. Whether people like it or not. So that's the reason why this is my argument. My um yeah, my arg my personal arguments. Um you know like uh, my professional arguments I mean you guys might have your own opinions your own objections or arguments uh, uh, which is probably the same but it's okay like you know you guys can evaluate everything and and determine what you guys want or don't want or what, what you people would approve of or not approve of. And all of this is optional. Um, it's, um, it's, uh, it's very, um, like, debatable. I don't know, it's like personal preference. Okay, that type of thing. You guys can either, um, but you know that that's why I I talk about the the digital IDs, you know the digital ID for each and every individual, okay? Because you guys might have a different way of thinking, but it's okay. AI technology will document that within your own personal ID, your own file, and over here. AI technology is doing the exact same thing for other users. But everything is professional and neatly organized without causing an uproar, without causing a riot, without people rising up against each other and destroying each other. Without people hurting each other, it's it's everything's classified professionally, accurately, so it can filter people accordingly for the ultimate good of humanity. I'm I'm telling you guys, you guys are discriminating like a motherfucker. Like we we can we can get real. We could talk about you know. People who are in the, who who have served, like in the military, their whole lives, as opposed to people with, uh, you know, who have been convicted of of crimes and stuff like that, or or who have felonies and stuff like that. Like that's discriminating, because you know, you people in office and all that, like in the White House and all that, you guys might like, you know, people who have ex, you know, who are ex felons and and criminals. You guys might like people like that. You know, 
but at the same time, um, because, you know, some military people have gotten in trouble. Some military people, like, when they go out to war, some of them rape children, some of them rape women, some of them rape men, some of them commit murder. Some there's there's crimes over there as well. But they're still soldiers. Okay. So that's when all of this stuff becomes a reality. And and um, it hits us, you know, and and causes us to realize, in other words, that that what I am talking about is true and correct, one hundred percent true and correct, because. I could, it, I could be a fucking leader. I could be the president of the United States of America. And I, if I don't like motherfuckers, I could murder as many motherfuckers as I possibly can before people take me out or take me to prison. Right? And I could do that if I'm the president or not the president. Anyone has that freedom. Everyone has that freedom to do that. Right. Um, so, why is there discrimination? Why do some people have the clearance to enter the White House while others don't? I mean, for obvious reasons, right? Because some people are fucking threats while others aren't. So AI technology will be that determining factor. So AI beca- being that determining factor, it will also be able to factor and determine if other people, whether they are ex felons or not, can enter any infrastructure or operate any heavy machinery whether they are trained for it or not or whether they have been trained or educated um, to to enter any of these structures with the approval of others or not AI technology will do that on its own accord and this is big people because we're talking about AI technology self-driven we're talking about AI technology operating vehicles as well as aircrafts without any human intervention. Um, so we just never know what AI technology is capable of. But it's okay because, like I said, it's going to evaluate who will be given the clearance or not. Okay? I already, I already specified that. But it, to, to explain it in the simplest terms, um, even though it's like freaking obvious, 
you know, if, if some of you don't have the clearance even to purchase certain things, but AI technology determines that you are capable of, first of all, to to 100% be responsible for the things that you want and you are requesting for, for a project or an invention um, without the potential for resale or to make a profit, then AI technology will be able to assist you um, and most likely you will be able to do this without having a physical um, product item in your possession for you to personally interact with unless you built something with AI technology in the in the in the near future and AI technology sends you a copy of whatever it is that you and it respectfully um created um then it will it know how to distribute those products to other to others um, on a global scale especially if it determines that it will be beneficial for these people to have these products in their possession um, for 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 various reasons, and I won't even get into those reasons. But AI technology will know what those reasons will be for. Um, and it will also know when to take away. Um. certain things from from people in place of something better something more updated so that people won't stay living in the past and interacting with those things of the past Alright, because this is all research and development, and why interact with things that are old and outdated? When they're clearly not better. Because if they were better, someone would have, would have never taken the time to fucking perfect it. You know, it's like, it's like music. You know, um, like a sound, I think it's called a sound box. Like a DJ, yeah, this one right here. Like these things right here. You know, it's either you guys go with that or you guys go with freaking. You know, a CD player. You know, it's either you guys go with that or you guys go with a smartphone. You know, so we see how you guys went from. You know, the logic 
Back in the day. All the way to the current. Either way, I gotta go. I I really have to go. So, um, you guys have a great day. I will catch up with all of you later. And there's just so much to talk about, so much to discuss. But, I mean, I could stay here forever talking about this stuff. So, till next time. Oh, and I will write a link to this post in the description section for all of you to check out on your own. Thank you all and God bless.